quite tasty, a little battle between these two. It's going to get pretty tight. A lot of hard aggression. Very easy to get caught out. Oh, Cut sliding. And he takes the chicken flag in fine style. Round four super champs here at Daytona Milton Keynes he just starting grid. Joel Wood on pole position, alongside him Callum O'Donnell on the front row. Joe Williams is third, he's got Andy Fry for company in fourth. Dan Munro was fifth, and Lee Whitney rounds out the third row in sixth. Ollie Hood and Matthew Clark is seventh and eighth respectively. Casper Marriott is ninth, and Charlotte Manson rounds out the top ten. Eleventh was Stuart Shearman, he's got Philip Babu for company on the sixth row. Daniel Watson thirteenth, Jonathan Purton was fourteenth. Sabir Al Zayat 15th alongside Ian Riley in 16th position and Richard Snow and Gareth Baldwin bring up the back of the grid in D-Max. On to the M35s now, Sam Cole on pole position, he's got James Bettison for company on the front row. Kaelin Durston third, he's got Cooper Wachnack alongside him on the second row. Roman Faragul was fifth alongside him, lines up Barry Morris. Adam Thomas was seventh with Charlie Fenton in eighth. On the fifth row of the grid, it's Lewis Barton just ahead of Kevin Chin rounding out the top ten. Callum Porter was eleventh with Luke Power in twelfth. Harrison Williams 13th, he's got Benjamin Gregory for company on the 7th row. Justin Elliott and K Kazuki Nishi 15th and 16th respectively, and James Bailey brings up the back of the grid for round 4. Round the final corner for the rolling start. Joe Wood on pole, Callum O'Donnell alongside. Joe will have the inside line. Green, 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 and we're racing! Here at Daytona, Milton Keynes, a great start for the pole sitter. He continues in the lead down into turn number two. It looks like Callum O'Donnell has hold second place ahead into turn number five. And we're racing in the N35, a great start from Sam Cole. He's leading clear of the pack into turn number two. Sam consolidates the lead. He can look forward, 30 minutes to maintain. On board with Nusha here, the N35 ST driver, currently in 16th position. Just ahead of him, he's got Elliot in the blue suit, battling with Gregory on the left. Gregory, he's gonna try one down the inside of turn number nine. There's a little bit of contact. Elliot tries to hold it there. On the inside, he's gonna go back up the inside in the braking zone. Gregory goes wide, gives him racing room, and in doing so, loses a position to not only Elliot, but also Nushi as they round off the third lap here at Super Champs. Back in the battle for fourth at the DMR class, another lap completed. Is there a move for the lead here? Joe Wood just holding on round the outside. The side by side through turn one into turn number two. Dan Munro looks down the inside. They're still side by side. Joe Wood takes the inside and just holds on. Dan Munro down the inside of the head with a turn number four. The side by side on on the exit. Dan Munro has got that move done. I said he was looking strong in, in the start of this race. Maybe didn't nail the lap in Super Qual Polified. Super pole qualifying, but he's nailed the start of this race and he's up into the lead. Back to the N35s now as they finish up. And all that. Barry Morris is just holding on to the sixth position. It's a great battle. Five cards seemingly involved, and they're chasing after the Homan Farigal there up in fifth position. So you have potential six or seven card battle there in the midfield of N35. And the front two are still battling in D Max. It looks like the leader swapped back. Joel Wood, the original pole sitter, back ahead. Dan Munro, is he going to look down the inside of the final corner? No, that's chopped off by Joel. Dan Munro looking for a good exit. He seems very good. Out of the exit of corners goes Dan Munro, but, but Wood. Battle for second in the N35 class. And it's Sam Cole in the pits. And the race leader has been called into the pits for a sim bin for a full start. Sam Cole jumping the start, the, the race control, deeming he gained an unfair advantage. And he's dropped all the way back. So James Bettison is now the new leader of the race after Sam Cole got caught in pits for that sim bin. Hubert Wojniak giving him great chaser. These two have been battling all throughout the race for what was second place. Now Sam Cole has been into the pits for that sim bin. It's now the lead of the N35 class. And they are stretching their legs and opening up that gap to third. So it does look as if right now it's a two horse race up in front. Farigul still holding on to fifth position in the number 23 N35 ST. I said this battle's been raging on. There's a move down the inside there from cart number 10. He makes that move and it looks like Haman is going to lose two spaces for the price of one. I mean, he does. He's dropped from fifth down to seventh. Now, is he going to lose another place into turn number two? No, he's just going to hold on. He needs to get his head down and focus and try and get his back. Meanwhile, back at the front, James Bettison still leads the N35 class. The battle for 10th raging on in the D-Max class, the fringes of the points, 107 as Philip Babu 
holds on around the outside of Dan Watson into turn number one. Impressive racing from them two there. It's so close up and down the field in both D-Max and N35 ST class. And the battle between the leaders and the N35 class still rages on. James Bettison still holding on ahead of Cuba Watchnack. Cuba over the curb. And he's going to get the cutback line through turn number one. He's going to look to the inside. Car number 30, he's got the inside line into turn number one. There's contact. Cuba's up on the curb. They're still side by side as they run down into turn number two. Cuba's got that position. He's up into the lead at the end. 35 ST class. Incredible racing from the two drivers. And Cuba has the lead to show for that. And the battle for 10 is still raging on their side by side. I believe that's Dan Watson down the inside of turn number two. It is the still side by side. Incredible race from up and down the field here in DMAX Super Champs as it is in the N35 class. Dan Watson just gets that position as a hand goes up in anger against the driver. Maybe they're working together to try and get forward and push up. Back to this battle between Watson and Babul. Side by side, down towards the final corner. Babul in the red car has got the inside line and momentarily moves back up into 10th position. Watson though, gonna come back in. Round the outside of turn number one, the two cars make slight contact at the apex as they merge together. Nevertheless, both cars end up out the corner in one piece. Is Babul gonna have another look at his rival into turn four? It's not, it's chopped off well from Watson. He moves into 10th, he's got that position. And now he's going to get his head down and try and battle up for further points positions. Right, the battle away. Battle away for the lead in the N35 class. Kuba and in car number 30. Battle away in car number 16. He squeezes him to the inside of the final corner. Kalen Durston just about gets his head. Kuba on the cutback line. Side by side into turn number one. Kalen Durston holds it around the outside. They're going to be side by side again into turn number two. Kuba, watch that has the inside line and he makes that move. He holds the lead of the overall M35 ST class despite being a heavier driver. Jan Munro through the final corner. He wins at Super Champs round number four. Didn't get qualifying right, but he got everything in the race absolutely perfect. Did everything right throughout the 30 minute race. Here come the N35 ST leaders. Kuba Wojciak just ahead, just maintaining that lead into turn 10, the hairpin for the final time they round. This battle has been ongoing for so long, for pretty much half this race, these two have been neck and neck, but Kuba Wojciak is gonna hold on. He wins overall in the N35 ST class here for round four of Daytona Super Champs in the N35 ST. Another fantastic day of racing here at Daytona Milton Keynes for the fourth round of Super Champs. Here's the classification for the D-Max lights. Dan Munro scoring a perfect 50 points, adding five points to his tally for scoring the fastest lap. A perfect 55 for Munro today. He won the lights class, three and a half seconds clear of Joe Williams, Andy Fryer rounding off the podium. In terms of the standings for the DMX Light Drivers, Dan Munro takes over the lead of the championship, just one point clear of Ollie Hood in first and second. Those two starting to stretch their legs ahead of Casper Marriott, starting to fall back on 151 points. He's followed by Fryer, Williams and Wood. In terms of the classification for the heavies, it was Lee Whitney who won, again scoring the fast slap, another 55 point tally for the winner today. Eight seconds clear nearly of championship leader Charlotte Manton. Both of them two drivers were another 30 seconds clear of the likes of Jonathan Purton who ran off the podium. In terms of the standings, Charlotte Manton still leads a convincing 195 points to her name. That gap coming down though is Lee Whitney elevated himself up into second in the standings ahead of Richard Snow and Gareth Baldwin separated by just two points. In terms of the N35 ST classification, Kaelin Durston won in the light class, five seconds clear between himself and James Betterson who were battling the race. Luke Power was third, just four seconds ahead of Lewis Barton, and Kevin Chin in fifth, holding off Callum Poulter. In terms of the standings for the lights, James Betterson takes over the lead from Sam Cole who had a poor race today after being caught into the pits for a black flag for a full start. Two points separate the championship contenders in first and seconds and then a further 12 points back to both Kayla Durston and Lewis Barton. In terms of the N35 SD heavies, Kuba Wojniak won again scoring a perfect 55 points. He was 13 seconds clear and a very convincing win for Wozniak. Charlie Fenton was third, couldn't quite dethrone Adam Thomas for second and Barry Morris was fourth. Adam Thomas and Charlie Fenton both tied at the top of the heavy standings for the N35 SD. 187 points has them locked together at the top of the championship after four rounds. Cooper Wozniak closing that gap over and started to break away from the likes of Elliot and Nushi.